Introducing the all-new Buick Cavanaugh, the car that gets 30 miles to the accusation. All Cavanaughs come with extra trunk space, so you'll have plenty of room for beer. I like beer, still like beer. And its custom onboard assistant, Donald, can do everything from crank up your favorite music to read your favorite tweets. We have people in Washington that don't know what they're doing. And best of all, each Kavanaugh is inspected by the FBI for a safety rating you can trust. And it only makes common sense. (laughs) The Buick Kavanaugh, the perfect car for the perfect getaway. Hi, folks, and welcome to another episode of GOAFS. That's getting old, ain't for sissies, with Big Tom Rivers. Tom's an old hipster with 47 years of radio to remember. In places like Chicago, Milwaukee, Atlanta, Minneapolis, Indianapolis, and plenty more, believe me. Mm. GOAFS was Tom's idea for baby boomers who want something to help them with growing older, but with a touch of the goofy, offbeat, and absurd. And that describes this man to a T for Tom. Mm -hmm. This portion of the show is being brought to you by Ed's Humane Bait Shop. The only bait shop in the world that sells only severely depressed worms who have lost the will to live and have volunteered to go on suicide missions for fishermen so that their lives won't have been completely in vain. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend for a long time now in a real nutcase, Big Tom Murray. Thank you, Doug Dahlgren. And welcome, folks, to episode number 40 of GOAFS. Thank you, buddy, Dougie, for that great introduction. Doug once said, the secret of life is honesty and fair dealings. If you can fake those, you got it made. Hey, whoa, Doug. Earlier, folks, on episode 39, we talked about October holidays coming up, dining out pet peeves, and are you registered to vote in the upcoming midterms? But now we're going to take care of some business. If you're a musician, full-time pro, weekend gig type, or just a wannabe, maybe even a collector of fine stringed musical instruments, Inter Mountain Guitar and Banjo of Salt Lake City, Utah, has the very finest collection of Gibson and C.F. Martin guitars. Oh, they're They're the best. The finest banjos, too, and mandolins, both new and used and vintage. The folks at Intermountain Guitar and Banjo always focus on the customer needs and service. Service that spans the globe. That's right. It would truly amaze you. Intermountain Guitar and Banjo of Salt Lake City, Utah, wants to be completely happy with the way they service you. They'll take care of everything you purchase. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, then you may return it within 30 days for a full refund. The folks at Intermountain Guitar and Banjo are proud of their products and their great service. That's why they never, never rest on their laurels. They're always looking for ways to improve and make your music experience the best music experience ever in your entire life. Inner Mountain Guitar and Banjo, owned and operated by Leo Coulson, my good buddy. They buy old instruments, too. Ours are by appointment only. Inner Mountain Guitar and Banjo, 712 East, 100 South, Salt Lake City, Utah. Check out the website. GuitarandBanjo.com or call 800-322-4682. GuitarandBanjo.com. No hassles, just great musical instruments at Intermountain Guitar and Banjo, Salt Lake City, Utah. And welcome to GOAFS, guys. And uh, don't forget, you can email me here at Tom Rivers at iCloud.com. That's Tom Rivers at iCloud.com. And you can find this podcast on the iHeart Podcast Network, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Google Plus, Tumblr, Spotify, Twitter, YouTube, and my Facebook page. All I ask is when you're on one of those uh, social media sites, please click either like or follow. 
from the bottom of my heart, my baby boomer heart. Thanks for listening. Now, episode number 40 of G-O-A-F-S. Hey, how'd you like that uh, FEMA test yesterday? The presidential alert. Everybody's cell phone went off at the same time. That's the uh, FEMA test alert. The Federal Emergency Management Agency tested its first presidential alert yesterday afternoon by sending alerts to American cell phones. Uh, The test alerts were sent to everyone's cell phones connected to wireless providers participating in the wireless emergency alert system. The same system also sends out weather and amber alerts. told my buddy Doug yesterday how many Walmart shoppers had the crap scared out of them when they saw presidential alert on their screen. They probably went nuts. Woo! Big TV tonight, in case you're interested what's on the tube. Major League Baseball, National League uh, game... Uh, Tonight, the Colorado Rockies at my Milwaukee Brewers in Milwaukee. And NFL football tonight, the Colts in New England. So you got something to watch on TV. Uh, Check what else is going on in the news real quick. Secret Service confirmed that the envelope filled with ricin was mailed to President Trump uh, was real. I think they grabbed some guy in Logan, Utah. Weird thing was the Melania flies to Africa and the president immediately gets deadly chemicals in the mail. Uh, Hillary Clinton trashed President Trump and his supporters during an interview in Washington. At this point, I'm pretty sure Trump is paying her to speak. Yeah, because the more she talks, the better he looks. Hillary is 70, but she doesn't look a day over the election. Did you notice that? Uh, oddly enough, after the speech, she needed a drink. Uh, but she couldn't find her server. Ho! Uh, a new report claims that Russian hackers wrote negative reviews for Star Wars, The Last Jedi. But if you think they were mad about the film, check out the reviews for Rocky IV. Uh, the reason they hacked Star Wars is because they found the stories were more believable than the stuff in Hillary's emails. <laughs> in her book... Giselle Bundichen, you know who that is, don't you? It's Tom Brady's wife. Revealed that her world was turned upside down. Boo-hoo-hoo. When she learned that Tom Brady was expecting a child with his ex, ex-wife, Bridget uh, Moynihan, when the couple first started dating, this was one time in Brady's career when his balls weren't deflated. Let's move along, okay? Uh, And uh, a video of Mick Jagger uh, dancing his face off at a party in Paris has gone viral. Mick can still shake it, uh, but they've changed the Stones songs to accommodate uh, the age of the band. Uh, For instance, Start Me Up is now Help Me Up. And Get Off My Cloud is now Get Off My Lawn. Uh, In our last episode, I told you I would... uh, tell you the definition of happiness. Well, what does it take to make us happy? The key ingredients include a positive mental state, a healthy body, strong social connections, job satisfaction, and financial well-being. However, money can only make you so happy. People who make $75,000 a year won't get any higher satisfaction from more money. That's from WealthHub.com. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a sober October. It's good timing for excessive alcohol use to be in the news. It's sober October, which means a lot of people, for one reason or another, are taking a month-long hiatus from booze. That's from lifehacker.com. And if you're a late bloomer, baby boomer, here's some interesting stuff. A new international survey wanted to know who people thought were the world's best lovers. Ooh la la. An international survey 
wanted to know who people thought were the best lovers in the entire world. Well, the best male lovers, according to the poll, are Australians, followed by South Africans, and then Americans. The best female lovers live in Canada, followed by France and Italy, and then the United States in fourth place. That came from SaucyDates.com. You want to check that one out. I don't know if uh, that's uh, rated for the younger set, but uh, SaucyDates.com. I told you last time we got together that we'd talk about weird sex laws. This is interesting. There are some weird sex laws that may not be enforced today, but were in the past. For instance, in Minnesota, it is illegal for any man to have sexual intercourse with a live fish. In Utah, you are not allowed to marry your first cousin until you reach the age of 65. Bet you those Mormons had something to do with that. In Idaho, public displays of of affection, PDA, are illegal if they last more than 18 minutes. Who's going to time that stuff? In Connersville, Wisconsin, it is illegal for a man to fire a gun when his female partner reaches, let's just say, ecstasy, when she hits the jackpot. You know what I'm talking about. And then there's this prickly sex law. In the state of Florida, having sex with a porcupine is illegal. It's all real stuff, folks. It's from Sex and Psychology, a book by Justin Lameller. And the story I told you I forgot about totally last week. Well, I found it. And uh, here it is. I promised you that I would get you, your children, or your grandchildren to stop picking your nose. I know it's a disgusting subject, but I definitely found a way to get you, your children, or grandchildren to stop. Here's how. I'm going to tell you what you're excavating. You may pick them, flick them, or eat them, but boogers are an important part of human health. Here it goes. Dust mites, bacteria, pollen, ash, sand, and a whole host of tiny pieces of unhealthy stuff are constantly swirling in the air that you breathe. Thankfully, boogers help to filter that out. And some of these particles, so that unhealthy stuff ends up in those things and doesn't make it into your body. So if you're a picker, get rid of it. Or blow your nose into a Kleenex and toss it. Because those things are disgusting. Yeesh. Next time on G-O-A-F-S, episode 41. Yes, 41. Stilettos, ladies, are they really that comfortable? Let your tongue do the talking when it comes to romance. And do you live paycheck to paycheck? Find out next time on episode 41 of GOAFS. Getting old ain't for sissies with me, Big Tom Rivers. Bye! Thanks for listening to another episode of GOAFS, Getting Old Ain't for Sissies, with your host, my friend, Big Tom Rivers. GOAFS with Big Tom can be found and heard on these great podcast platforms. The iHeart Podcast Network, Google+, SoundCloud, Tumblr, Spotify.